Fast forward a few years, the dot-com bubble burst. And in about 2002, 2003, although this had been brewing for a while since 2000 or earlier, the web standards started taking hold. And basically, it became this big movement where a bunch of nerds uh, pushed through and the browser makers, and Mozilla helped a lot with this as well, the idea that the browsers should support the technology, the standards technology. I'm not going to get into the whole history of that, but essentially what happened is I think for the first time in about 2002, 2003, there was a clear separation between a graphic designer and a web designer. A web designer had to have a unique set of skill sets for the whole process of web design. They had to understand HTML. They had to understand CSS. They had to understand usability. You had to understand the idea of separation from structure, from style. You had to understand all these different things. Whereas back in the 90s, uh, these were at, at best an afterthought. You had most web designers, I, I have to say, back in the 90s, had a trouble with you know a hyperlink tag. Things have changed. So there was this clearly this big movement from web designer slash graphic designer to pure web designer. And I think the birth of the web design professional really came into play in the early 2000s. With the rise of web 2.0, you know, Ajax, dynamic sites, all the things I talked about at the beginning of this video. This is now ushering in the new web designer. And a new web professional, web designer, web professional, is somebody who has all the knowledge that the previous evolution brought into our hands. You know, the CSS, the HTML, the usability, the separation of content and structure. But the new guy also has to go two steps further. They have to understand the blogs, they have to understand JavaScript, they have to understand the basics of Ajax, they gotta understand the basic of a server-side programming language. I recommend PHP, because it's ubiquitous, because it's everywhere. So the web 2.0 web designer is that modern designer. Those who embrace that, as they are, some are, you see them now, web designers who will work exclusively off of a blog platform like WordPress, they have a lot of success. These guys have a huge competitive advantage over those who just do traditional HTML and CSS work. If you're still not convinced of how important it is to move with the times and to embrace this new web professional that I just described, let me, let me give you a quick little story. I was recently talking to an old acquaintance of mine, an old friend of mine, and he was around during the dot-com bubble days with me in the mid-90s. And he had stopped doing web design, web development, I guess in 2000, before the new web designer came out, before the HTML, CSS, web standards guys came about. And... He recently got back into it, say maybe a year ago, a year and a half ago. And he was still using 1990s web design techniques and the 1990s web design workflow. And he calls me up, and it's been had been a few years since I've spoken to him, and he was flabbergasted, flabbergasted at how dramatic the changes uh, have become in the web. Like in those days, you got to understand, CSS was just some quirky technology that one day would be extremely useful. And we didn't really pay much attention to it because it just didn't work in the browser. So it was a waste of time. And when he saw that how CSS was now just as important, and actually in many regards, more important than HTML, and he saw how the whole workflow changed. And now he's out there trying to provide web design services. And he gets the occasional gig, but he's now working at a severe disadvantage to other web designers who have uh, who've, uh, adopted the modern techniques. And he's realized that he has to learn the new way of doing things. Otherwise, he, he just cannot compete in, in the world out there. 
And of course, he sees the huge advantages of the evolution from 1996 web design style to modern 2000s web design style. And now you know, I was talking to him, yeah, yeah, you got to learn all that. But guess what? You also have to learn. You have to learn the web 2.0s now if you really want to compete. I'm Steph Mischuk. I hope you found this blog, post, uh, podcast, uh, video, whatever you want to call it, interesting. And uh, actually, you know, it's a video cast. And uh, I plan to have a bunch more out now that we've uh, finalized our redesign. And we've got our little subscription. Well, not our sole little. We have hundreds of videos. Our Kyosite University subscription service, where you can access all our videos and podcasts, uh, you know, for a pretty cheap price. Anyway, I hate to be the marketeer. My apologies. And uh, we'll see you soon.